folks. My name is Jen. I am sorry if the lighting is a little bit off. Um, I am going to be sharing some things that I got because I did um, another little bit of a haul for downstairs. So I just wanted to show off some things that are going to go in the library um, or some things that might go on my bookshelf right now for the Halloween season. I don't know if this is going to be the complete video or if I'm going to wait um, a little bit until I get some more stuff. I, I don't know. It's going to be a weird video is all I know that what it is. But anyway, um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Um, I'm sorry if you guys are getting tired of hearing about this. I'm just like, I don't know. Um, getting um, real excited about things and yeah. So uh, the first thing I can show you is actually a couple of art prints that I got. I still have a couple more like vintage photos and stuff like that that I'm waiting to come in um, but I did get a couple of art prints. So I will show you those. First of all I got <laughs> this one which is if you recognize it, it's Angela Lansbury, but she is, um, this is as her character, Jessica Fletcher from Murder, She Wrote. I really liked watching this, um, like, I think it might have been reruns by that point, um, but I used to like watching this with my grandma. My grandma loved this show, um, and I've done, I haven't rewatched all of it, but I've rewatched some of it, um, fairly recently, and I... I like it. I think it's cool. So, yeah, I got a print of her. She's gonna go up on my gallery wall. The author left... the author. The artist left me a nice note, and then they also sent this, which I guess is like their business card. I'll show you. It's Rufus Tiger illustration. Um, I will leave links to both of these artists down below. Um, but yeah, look at this. He sent that along too, so I'm gonna put that up by my desk. I have not seen this movie, by the way. Aliens, I have not seen the movie, but I do want to. And then the other print that I got, um, actually, there's, they're in this little, like, sleeve. I got a couple of them. Um, I'm gonna be trying to be really careful with them because they're delicate, like, newspaper, like, page print, basically. Um, but I want to get specific frames for these. This is literal prints. Um, I'll leave the link to them too, but look at what I got. It's Golden Girls. So which one are you? Um, because my goal in life is to be Sophia Petrillo, but at this point I think I don't know. I think I hover between Dorothy and Rose. <laughs> okay, and then I went to Target. So, what did I get for Target? Well, I can tell you, I got this that is also going to go up on the gallery wall. Um, look, it's got like interactive bits. Um, I thought this was adorable. And then I got this, which is definitely also going to go down there and it is going to stay up all year long. I don't even care. This is going to go on one of my bookshelves when it's downstairs. And yeah, it's, it's going to be it all year long because that is how cute this is. This also reminds me, um, I don't remember when they were from. They were these little, they were this kind of material though. It's like not quite cardboard, it's like a little bit stronger than that. They were these little, like, Christmas houses. I think they were from the 60s or 70s, and they were, like, they had, like, the little wafer-thin window paper and stuff like that, and they were all glittery and things. And my grandparents were getting rid of theirs and asked me if I wanted them, and I had a whole bunch of them. Um, but then my parents and I, we had a, a bit of a fire at our house when I was in college, and unfortunately it devoured um, some of our Christmas stuff downstairs. Not like 
thankfully most of it was okay, um, but it devoured a subsection that was mine. <laughs> um, so like, mo the section that had most of my childhood um, ornaments and also um, my box of the Christmas houses. So, um, I saw this and was like, that looks, this is like the Halloween version of that and it made me really happy. So, um, I got this and yeah, like I said, it will stay up all year long because that's really cool. I will leave it on my, on one of my bookshelves. This is going to go downstairs. Um, look at that. It's a pumpkin. And you can put a tea light in it. So this will probably be like year-round library decor because I think that looks really cool and it fits in. Um, and so that will probably be um, either on my shelf or maybe on my desk or something. It depends on what type of tea light. If I use like a battery or a real one, it will depend on where I put it. I got these, which these are specifically just for Halloween right now. Um, like I'm going to put them on my bookshelf that you'll see behind me. Um, the one that you see normally and also the one that you see, or maybe I'll put them right here. Actually, I could put them right here and that'll be Halloween-y. They had these glass pumpkins, so I'm going to actually them right here right now. They look kind of cute there. Um, and then I found this, which is Balsam and Palo Santo. And it smells, honestly smells kind of mannish. <laughs> um, like a dude, I mean, but it's nice. Um, me and my friend, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but we are turning in age I don't want to talk about. Um, but we're not looking forward to this birthday. Uh, so we have decided that we are going to have a super spooky birthday because we are 14 hours apart <laughs> in age. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna share our um, birthday festivities. Not like the weekend of our actual birthday, but probably like the weekend before. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a super spooky birthday and watch super spooky movies and eat good food. So I got like a couple of party supply things for that. Um, but then I also got this really cool frame. Um, and it's like, it's one of these, but it also has a hanger. So, I mean, look at that. I love that. That looks so freaking cool. Um, they also had a larger one too, but I grabbed the smaller one, but I, I have to look again at the other art prints I got because if the Kurt Vonnegut one fits, I might put it in here, um, or I might leave it with the frame that I already got, um, and maybe I'll put a picture of like, I don't know, nature or something, or maybe I'll, um, put like, a uh, picture of me and my husband on one of our vacations or something, maybe um, I'll do that. I don't know. I have to think about it. So it depends, because I might have like an art print and go on my gallery wall, or it might have like a photo and then that'll go on my desk. My cats are going to be so mad. Um, I got a wizard cape and a dino hat. Are gonna be pissed. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then I got a throw blanket for kind of for now, <laughs> um, but I also got it because um, I want to have, um, I'm gonna have a reading chair, but I've been debating. It depends on, I think, how much like what I get for like gift money for like my birthday and Christmas is gonna depend on this but um I may also get one of those beanbag chair thingies um I haven't I don't know it also depends on how much 
spaces in there once we get the other furniture in. So we'll have to see. But I've been thinking about that, um, whether or not I want to do that. Or if I'll just leave like the, the reading chair that I'm going to put downstairs. Um, but either way, it's going to have a comfy pillow and I want to have a throw blanket. So if it's chilly in the winter and stuff, I have something cozy to sit. So I got this blanket. I don't want to take it apart now, but um, this is what it looks like. It's got trick-or-treaters on it. I thought that was really cute. And I also got this. So instead of the kitty cat pillow that I got, that might stay as a seasonal one, and I might this might be the one that I put downstairs. Um, greeting schools. And then it's got the stars in the back. I kind of really like that, so. This, this is going on my bookshelf right now. Um, so you'll see it in, um, my TBR video, or you will have already seen it in my TBR video, but, uh, here, I'll do this. Possibly unnecessary? Yes. Um, but... Fuck it. <laughs> and then... I... I may have done a silly thing. And I say I may have done a silly thing because I already have unread Stephen King on my shelves. I am looking at currently four unread Stephen... Nope, five. Five unread <laughs> as of yet Stephen King's on my shelves. But I got some more. Um, and I was like, I kind of want to read another Stephen King. Now, like I said, I have five that I'm staring at right on my shelf right now. Well, one of them's... So one of them is Four Past Midnight, so it's got, like, multiple novellas in it, basically. Um, and I've read one of them. I haven't read the others. I think there's, like, three others books in there, um, so I haven't read the other three yet. So I was going to, like, read one of those or do something, but then I, yeah. So, Holly came out, um, recently, and I wasn't going to pick this up yet because this is following Holly Gibney, who is a character from the Mr. Mercedes trilogy. I wasn't going to pick this up yet because I have my other Stephen Kings that I want to get to. I was going to try to pick this up, I don't know, next year at some point, but it was there. The price wasn't terrible. And I said, you know what, fuck it. Um, happy belated birthday, Stephen King. I bought two more of your books. <laughs> yeah, I grabbed Holly. Um, this one is not one that I'm going to pick up in October. This is one that I definitely will be reading um, probably early next year because before I read this, I think I want to do a reread of the Merced Mercedes trilogy, um, and then read this. So then, because I meant to get this, when did this come out? Last year, I think, or maybe early this year, I meant to get it and I hadn't gotten it yet. Um, so this might be the one that I pick up, um, this October. I lied, I have six, no... Yeah, I have another unread Stephen King because it says fantasy novel. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? Yeah, anyway, I this might be the one that I pick up besides The Shining um, in October. And I'm really excited about it. Um, it's fairy tale. Um, I have to take this sticker off. I cannot deal with that. Um, so this says, um, Charlie Reed looks like a regular high school kid, great at baseball and football, decent student, carries a heavy load. His mom was killed in a hit and run accident when he was seven and grief drove his dad to drink. Charlie learned how to take care of himself and his dad. When Charlie is 17, he meets a dog named Radar and her aging master, Howard Bowditch. Bowditch? Bowditch? Bowditch. Uh, a recluse in a big house at the top of a big hill, the lock shed in the backyard. Sometimes strange sounds emerge from the shed. Charlie starts doing jobs for Mr. Bowditch and loses his heart to Radar. 
Then when Bowditch dies, he leaves Charlie a cassette tape telling a story no one would believe. When Bowditch knows his kept secret all his long life is that inside the shed is a portal to another world. So. Awesome. Library Hall and... Oops, Stephen King Hall. <laughs> we have... So the floor and the what will be the library is... The, the ceiling's up. Um, the lights are up. Um, the floor is mostly down. There's like a strip that's still next to the wall that still needs to be filled in and um, one of the electrical outlets needs to be put in um, but I've we've painted it. There's one wall that still needs to be painted but um, there's like something that needs to be done on that wall first so we aren't painting that yet until that stuff's done but otherwise a um, lot of progress on that and then um, what's been done this weekend besides painting um, the library area is drywall has gone up um, in the area of the big section of the basement which is going to be my husband's um, like new man cave slash office slash gaming area will be that. Um, so the drywall has gone up and um, I think the grid is gonna go up tomorrow, like the ceiling grid, um, and the lights and tiles, um, or at least some of them, are gonna go up tomorrow. So that'll be really cool. And then that's that section that's like mostly started. Um, then there's just the flooring, but um, I think me and my husband can handle the flooring for that mostly by ourselves will be I think the next project following that is going to be um, the either the half bath um, or uh, doing the wall and ceiling and floor in the other section of the basement. Um, we're gonna have one section that's like a utility closet that's gonna be left unfinished um, but the rest of the other big section still has to be done too. So progress. Yeah. Anyway, that's a lot more than you guys probably care about, but anyway, um, as far as the library goes, yeah, future me will go down in daylight so you can get a better idea of it, um, and we'll show you how the future library looks right now. Okay, so this is me checking in again a little later, um, because I have some mail um that is sorry my fall allergies have been absolutely insane i was actually wearing a mask for two days at work because i knew it wasn't like covid but i was like am i getting like a cold or something no it's just my allergies but i have mail um i got this package which is very interesting I got this package, which is from Greece, and then I also have this package. So, um, <clears throat> I did order some more, uh, artwork and stuff for the library. Um, so I'm thinking that what these packages are is that. So we're gonna open this right now. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh I'm so excited. Okay, this is gonna... All right, I'm gonna have to lay this out and put stuff on top of it. Too. Um, I will, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but I will give all of the information about what I'm showing you. I'll give all of that. Um, I'll look on my Etsy and I'll give you all of that information on my, um, in the description box below. But, oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh, it's Poirot, or rather, it's David Suchet as Hercule Poirot. But um, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Little gray cells, mustaches. Look at him! Oh, I'm so excited. That needs to be carefully. Uh, I think maybe I'll stretch it out. I'm. I have it on top of a filing ca um, cabinet. You're sitting here, so 
I think I'll stretch it on here and then I'll pile books on it to make sure it, you know, stops being rolled up. Actually, maybe I'll leave it rolled up for the time being for safekeeping. I don't know. All right, let's open the package from Greece. I think I know which one this is. Oh, yes, they are. Oh my gosh. They gave me an extra print too. Thank you for your order. Please accept the extra print as a gift. Oh my goodness, what did they give me? Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, so I ordered. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Um, so, like I said, I wanted to have um, prints and things in the gallery wall, like bookish things. So like bookish quotes, bookish artwork, um, some of my favorite authors, uh, characters, stuff like that. And while I was looking, I found, I found this, first of all. Oh, Agatha Christie. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love her. So I ordered that. And then I saw that they also had old Hollywood stars. And so you may or may not know this because I, I feel like I've mentioned this before, but I absolutely adore Audrey Hepburn. Like, I adore her. Like, as an actress, as an icon, as a person, she was just a wonderful person. So, I absolutely adore Audrey, he Audrey Hepburn. And I saw this of Audrey Hepburn reading and so I ordered it because I was like oh my gosh so this might go on the gallery wall too or I might um I'm gonna have like a couple of framed things over by my desk too so this might this might go over by the desk or it might go on the gallery wall I, I don't know yet um but then they sent me a free print too and look what they sent me they sent me another print of Agatha Christie I love that this I'm gonna put this one by my desk she's giving me my inspiration um, but yeah, love it, love it. So that's really cool. I will include, um, people, uh, the artists and Etsy, like at all the shops and everything, I'll include them down below. Okay, last package. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, this one is not for the library. <laughs> this is my Halloween costume. Or part of my Halloween costume. They're... Their bear ears, which wonderful. So our friends are throwing a um, Halloween party. I guess it's gonna be Star Wars themed this year. So um, I, I was having a really hard time choosing a costume because uh, I I I do enjoy Star Wars. Um, I have never really had the drive though to dress up like someone from Star Wars because um, I just. Uh, haven't really felt like it um so I was like man I don't really know what to dress up as there aren't that many women um so I I know there's going to be a lot of people who are probably already dressing up as like all the female characters already and I could dress up like one of the dude characters cause I don't really care I'll dress up as whatever um but I didn't really it's also it own, it's owned by Disney you guys that means all the costumes are expensive so um, I was like, well, what can I do? And then I thought about it more and I'm going to do this like half-assed <laughs> Ewok costume because um, Ewoks are my favorite um, species in Star Wars. Well, I also really like the Wookiees. I guess I like furry creatures. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be an Ewok. Um, so Ewoks are basically like bears, right? It's the same kind of general. <laughs> Thing. Don't come at me. Yeah, that's for that. That's random for you. Anyway, that is, uh, that's that stuff. I think we're going to end the haul video here because honestly, I need to contain myself. Um, we still, it, it, it's still like, it's the end of September. Um, we still have a lot of stuff to do. Um, downstairs and then there's also the holidays coming up so I need to be a little bit more careful with extra spending money
for the time being. Plus I have my birthday and Christmas coming up, so I guess if there's anything else I particularly want or need, I can always just ask for it. I feel bad though, because sometimes like when stuff is expensive, or I think it's like, I like this thing, but I know other people are going to think it's silly, um, I feel really uncomfortable about asking for it. I'd rather just pay for it myself. I think this will be the last little haul I do for, I'm not going to say for a while, it's at least for, for now, for stuff, um, for downstairs, like the library and everything. Um, maybe we'll have another haul video in like November or December or something, but yeah. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you are also someone who, I don't know, floats around on Etsy or something like that and you've seen some bookish artwork that you think I should check out, let me know. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.